So this question says, benefits that are provided by mobile devices and applications for health research by health professionals. So hey, health professionals today uh, you, uh, find it very easy to use mobile devices. So what are the benefits or why uh, do, do they find it easy to use more mobile devices as a way of, of monitoring or as a way of health research? So the first one is uh, what we call remote monitoring capabilities. So these health uh, professionals are able to monitor their clients or, the, or, or, or their patients or, or, or whatever partners or even, even uh, fellow health officers using these mobile devices. They are able to share information from remote places, maybe uh, places where there is low internet con connectivity. Also, we could talk about improved provider communication. So internet has provided a very good uh, advantage of communication. There are very many ways of communicating from social media platforms to even uh, voice providers. These ones have been very helpful for the mobile uh, health research of, 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 of professionals. Also, we have what we call patients have more access. So patients have more access to uh, to the, the services of these research uh, professionals because uh, mostly the, the, the mobile devices are available. They are easily available compared to the computers. For example, uh, you could have some small Android phone available to each and every patient. So they, could, they can remotely, wherever they are, they can easily access through the internet services offered by these small uh, health research organizations. So they can be following uh, the health, uh, health research professionals through these mobile devices. So there are very many other uh, advantages, so very many uh, other benefits that come with mobile devices applications, particularly in this case for health research professionals. And the second part is saying explain the term uniform research locator, or what you call URL. So URL is just an address, just like you can have your mobile number. When I call you, then your mobile number uh, directs me to you. I cannot be talking to another person except if you are not using your phone. So over the internet, we have resources. We have different pages, web pages that are put together in a website. So for you to access a particular web page, you need a, an address that will lead you to that particular web page. That is what we call a URL or a unit. A, a uniform resource locator. So it is just the address that is unique, it's not like the, any other address, that helps you to, to, to just locate a particular resource within the internet or within a website. For example, you could talk about www.maybesomethingelse.com uh, that's uh, an a URL. And just on the same, the question is asking functions of the three key parts of a URL. So what are the three parts of uh, the three key parts of a URL? So for example, I have uh, a URL such as uh, maybe, uh, let me talk about HTTP, sorry, HTTP, double slash, then maybe it's only at gmail.com. So this is a URL. So we have this first part, of the, the part we call the protocol. So this protocol uh, is just uh, when you're doing or when you're dealing with the internet, the, these are rules that are used to transmit data over the internet. In this case, it is HTTP. So this is what we call. It. Then we have the second part here. In this case ronnie at gmail.com this is what we call the domain it identifies the site so which site uh, which site am i looking for in this case uh, in this case i'm using gmail somebody could be using hotmail yahoo so it, identi it identifies the site and then we have the last part the extension the path so in this case dot com it could be dot u or uh, UG, it could be .org, it could be .ke, so that's an extension for this URL. 
the extinction can tell you what type or which type of uh, organization it could be a, uh, who owns this address it could be an organization it could be an is learning institution a country so if it is a, a, a business organization it could be dot com then if for maybe a particular country like UK it will end like dot UK if it's for a particular school maybe it could end as dot INS or inst that shows that it is for an institution so that is it yeah. then questions D says uh, benefits of data backup and recovery procedures in a business so first of all we have to look at what is data backup what is data backup? so data backup we talked about we say data backup is just a process of duplicating your data or having your data in a separate location so that in case of a disaster or in case you lose your data you have a place to retrieve your data from you have a duplicate or an alternative place where your data exists so why is it important for organizations to have their data uh, in a particular place or in a particular location of storage the first one is what we call data security. Data security means that this data will, will be secure. So instead of compromise, or instead the, the integrity of this data is breached, then we have an alternative place for retrieving the correct data. Again, we have easy of, uh, ease of data management. So it is easy to manage data when it is backed up in a particular thing on a cloud or a, in a particular remote location in your computer so you can manage this data easily and also you can control uh, uh, who accesses uh, this data what particular time also we have what you call cost control so it is very costly to use data for organization imagine you are running very competitive industry, a business in a very competitive industry, and then you lose this data. This cost uh, can be very, very much dire for an organization. So to, to do away with that, we do what we call data backup. And we must have procedures for recovering this data. That's what I would call recovery procedures. And again, wherever data is lost within an organization, then the normal procedures or functions of organization is, is interfered with. So one benefit of this uh, data recovery and plans and procedure is unhindered performance, where uh, the performance of the or, of, uh, of the organization is not interfered with because of maybe some loss of data. 